Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the T-Rex web UI and how to use it. Now, if you don't know what the web UI is, it's basically just a UI that you can access from your browser that shows the stats of your miner, well, of your T-Rex miner. And you can also use it to edit your miners config directly from the, the uh, browser now when you um, first run t-rex by default it is uh, bound to lo your local host and port 4067 now to get this info all you got to do is go to the t-rex github go to their wiki then go to web UI and it'll tell you here that it's bound to this address by default if you want to change it you can read this and change it I'm just gonna use the default one for now um, and then also by default if you try to change any of your settings so for example if we um, I'll try to change my fan speed to uh, 100 if I hit save it's gonna tell you uh, the API is in read only mode and that is by design the developers had di have done this so that people aren't getting access to your config and changing it when they shouldn't be if somebody sniffed your your network but anyway so let's get into the installation which basically whenever you first install t-rex miner and whenever you first run it if you didn't change any of the settings regarding the web ui it's going to be running so if you uh start your miner oops i don't know why is it too anyway if you start your miner uh i'm gonna be make sure that before you do this that you have your minor batch file already configured now um, if you don't I'm gonna assume that you already have t-rex installed and you already have it configured if you don't you can go ahead and watch my previous video which shows you how to download it and configure it and get it running and so this is from the previous video this is my batch file it's it should be exactly the same and this is the one that I'm going to be running. So what you want to do is just start it up. And just give it a few. Um, you should see right here that the uh, server has started. And for control, navigate to that address. And then you, so you want to go to the address. And let me just refresh this in case. And, uh you want to see your stats being displayed so let me just get it give it a second to populate all right so why that's why that's uh populating uh what we want to do is so whatever batch file that you're going to be using you want to make a copy of it and I'm going to rename this to config at the end. So I know that this batch file is for the config. This is my normal batch file. And then you also want to make a new text document and you want to name it config. Whoops, I don't know how to spell. You want to name it. Oh, I mean, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it config. So essentially it's config.txt um, the name really doesn't matter as long as you remember the name uh, so then let's go back to our web UI and as you can see it's it's generating some stats so that's good uh, you want to go to the settings bar you want to click on raw config now this is why you want to set up your batch file before doing this you don't want to just download t-rex and run one of the default batch files you want to configure your own so that all these values 
are basically what is in your batch file. So, of course, not all these are in the batch file, but that's because uh, the ones that you didn't add in the batch file are their default values. So, you want to copy it, select it all. You can use Control A and then um, copy it with Control C or just right click on it and hit copy. And you want to go to um, this config file here that you just made, whatever you named it, and you want to paste this in. And then you want to save it. So now everything that was in your batch file and all the default values are now in here. Now, if you want to confirm that, if we open up our batch file again, so mine, let's see, my core clock is locked at 470, right? Let me scroll down to lock core clock, which is here, look. 470 my mim clock 1600 so every, like all these custom commands that you used in your batch should show up in here and then all the rest are the default uh values for the all the rest of the commands now once you're at this point the next thing that we need to do is go back to the web ui and read this section on the security so basically they want you to put a password on the web ui so that nobody gains access to it that's not supposed to have access to it and to do that all you got to do is copy this command um, then we'll go back to our t-rex folder if you click in this address bar right here and type in cmd and hit enter it'll open a command prompt that's already within this folder that you made and then you want to paste in the command. So control V will paste it in, or you can just type it out. Just type out that command and you want to, now we're going to put our own password. So if you read it, it says it has to be eight to 64 characters long, no spaces, has to have at least one digit, one lowercase and one uppercase letter. So I'm just going to do password one, two, three. Of course, you're going to do your own password. Just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use this simple one. And then you wanna hit enter. Now it should spit out a key. You wanna copy this key with control C. And you wanna go back to your config file that you just made and have all this pasted in. You wanna look for API key. You wanna control V to paste it in. And then you wanna ch change read only mode to false. And save it now one warning that I'll have is when you're making your password if you use special characters and by those I mean some of these I'm not exactly sure which one causes the issue but I know at least these first three work or even maybe just the first two and so just if if you generate a key and then you try to sign in and it's telling you that it's an invalid password and you're pretty sure it's the right password it's most likely going to be because you used one of these characters and those characters are invalid and like i said i don't know which ones they are so when i do a password i usually try to only use these two and uh it works out just fine so just keep that in mind now we can close this our minor we need to stop it All right, and so after you pasted that key in and you change this to false, just save it and you can close that now. And the next step, all we gotta do is on this new batch file that we made, we wanna edit it. And we wanna delete everything up into the t-rex.exe. You can leave the pause, it doesn't matter. And then if you come here, it'll tell you uh, to do the config modification, you gotta run your miner using this uh, command which it's basically just, I don't even need to copy it. It's just dash C, whoops. Right after the T-Rex exe, it's dash C, and then you wanna put the name of your config file. So we named it config.txt. So whatever you named yours, just put the name, and then you can save it. And now we just wanna run the miner with that config. So the reason why I named it config is so that I know Okay, this one runs the config, this one runs the batch file, or the normal, the normal way. 
but we want to do it with the config. So if I run it, do the same thing. We go open up that URL. Now this time when we go, it's going to tell you this. You need a password. So then if I type in the password that I used, enter now it's gonna let me in now every time you access it you're gonna have to type in that password and uh, let me just let it get some stats for a second before I change anything And for example, say, I mean, like me, if you're tinkering with clocks or, you know, maybe you just want to change the fan speed or anything like that. Now, all you got to do is go to settings. Uh, you can do it, use uh, this menu to do it, or you can also do it in the raw config if you wanted to. I'm just going to use this menu and so say I want to change my fan speed to I'll change it to 95 so you make your changes and then you hit save and then it's gonna tell you that it's been saved to your disk now you got to restart the miner so every time you make a change you got to hit restart and so once we hit restart this is what happens. It sends a command to your miner and it restarts it. And so now my fan was at 95 or at 90 and now as you can see it's at 95. And there you go. That's how you set up the web UI and configure it so that you're able to change your settings through your web browser. So hopefully this video helped you out. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave any comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.